be the procedure to start up the glacier pool cooler. Uh, the order you do these is not that crucial, but we'll just keep it simple. You have this switch over here which powers the cooler. Flip it up, which turns it on. Then you have the pressure valve here, which fills it. Just turn it that way. That's opening it up and sending water into the cooler. Then over here you have the return line. We need to open this to let it return back to the pump. Now, this valve down here with the blue handle is the balancing valve. And you should not have to mess with that. In fact, it's better not to. But we do have to verify that the propeller is turning the correct speed. If it goes too fast, water will pour out of the overflow. And if it starts going too fast, this would have to be turned clockwise, and I mean just a just an eighth or so. It's very delicate. Uh, and if it's going too slow or not turning it on, you crank it counterclockwise. Like I say, just an eighth of a turn or so, and check it until you get it balanced right. But as long as the pump's running the same speed, you should never have to change that. To turn it off, it's uh, just the opposite procedure. You can turn switch off, close the pressure valve, and close the return. Now, these are kind of strange in that these handles are in line with the pipe when they're closed and open that way. Regular plumbing, plumbing valves, such as this one, are the opposite. So it's kind of confusing, but that's the way the pool people do it. Uh, when this one is, this kind of represents the blade that's inside the valve. So if it's totally closed, it would be this way. But that's nothing to be concerned about. This here is a check valve. Helps prevent water flow from back flowing into the thing. And keep some of the air bubbles from getting sucked into it. You see air bubbles in there when this thing's running. <coughs> That's fairly normal, nothing to be alarmed about. Um, if it gets really bad, it means it's sucking in air through here, and but that shouldn't happen unless something's wrong. Again, turn it on. It's turned on. Open the inlet valve. As soon as I open that, I can hear the water starting to trickle in and open the return so it can return back to the pump. And again, to turn it off. Shut off the power. Close this valve. Close this valve. Should stay that simple. Better to run it at night to get the maximum cooling. Um, It'll work during the day, but it won't cool as much. Probably if you run it four to five hours a night, you get all the cooling you need. But you can run it 24 hours a day if you want.